welcome back. In the previous lecture, we learned about arithmetic operators, which was fun to learn. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about the next type of operator, which is also easy to understand, and it is called assignment operator. So let us see the agenda for this video. First of all, we will learn what an assignment operator is. Then a list of assignment operators. After that, examples of assignment operators. And lastly, there is an assignment for you. So without any delay, let us get started. In easy words, assignment operator is the operator that is used to assign a value to a variable. For example, a equal to b. Value of b is assigned to variable a. So this table on your screen, it has a list of assignment operators and its example. And the last column includes the similar expressions. Just like exponentiation operator in arithmetic operators, star star is equal to is also part of ECMA script equal to 2015. Let us take a few examples. It is a basic assignment operator which assigns the value to a variable. As shown in the table, the expression x plus equal to y is the same as x equal to x plus y. That is why we get 30 as an output value. It is the same as the first assignment operator. But here, subtraction is the operation of two variables which hold the values 70 and 40. The expression x star equal to y is same as x equal to x star y. So we are multiplying two variables. We are dividing two variables using x slash equal to y, which is the same as x equal to x slash or x by y expression and getting the floating 2.5 value. As we have seen in the previous lecture, modulus gives us the remainder. So here we are getting the output 1. These are the few assignment operators and that is it for today. And there is an assignment for you now. Find the modulus of these two operands, a equal to 50, b equal to 30. But wait, the operator concept does not complete here. There is yet to come. In today's lecture, we will be talking about the next type of operator, which is the logical operator. So what are logical operators? Well, logical operators connect two or more programming statements to return either true or false. These operators are mostly used with Boolean type, but can be applied to any data type. Now there are three types of logical operators summarized in the table on your screen. And it returns true if both operands are true or it returns true if either operand is true. Not, it returns true if operand is false. Don't worry if you did not get the clear idea. For the better understanding, let us review these operators with the help of some examples. AND operator. The AND operator is represented by the symbol AND. AND it will return true if both the programming statements or operands are true. Let us create two variables and apply the AND operator. Script A equal to 5, B equal to 10. Let us take two operands related to these variables. A less than B and A not equal to B. This statement will return true because we have used AND operator and in AND operator both the statements have to be true in order to get the return value true. That means A is less than B is true and A is not equal to B is also true. Let us take another example. A greater than B and A not equal to B. In this case, the result would be false because one of the statements is not true. A is less than B, not greater than B. OR operator. The OR operator is represented by and it will return true if both the programming statements or operands are true. Let us take the same variables. A equal to 5, B equal to 10. Let us take two operands. A equal to 5 or B equal to 6. Even if one of the statements is false, the result is 
true because OR operator allows one statement to be false. A equal to 0 or B equal to 4. Both of the operands are false, so the statement is false. NOT operator. The NOT operator is represented by exclamation and it returns true if the operand is set to false and vice versa. A equal to 5, B equal to 10. Statements are given below. NOT A greater than B. The statement returns true because A is not greater than B. NOT A less than B. Since B is greater than A, this statement will be false. So here is a little assignment for you guys. Which operator will you use in order to get the result true? If x is equal to 10, y is equal to 20. x greater than y, x not equal to y. Now there are only a few operators left for you to learn. So keep practicing and stay safe. Bye.